everybody, I saw 2003, aka <coughs> Camden here today, bringing you guys a new snapshot video. So yes, 1.12, uh, the, well the 1.12 snapshot, the first one of them, has just been released. And wow, we've got some new blocks, lots of new blocks, I think there's something like 48 new blocks or something like that. And then a whole new palette changed, and yeah. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about these blocks, what I think they could be used for, and show you everything that's new with this snapshot. So let's start. All right. So uh, first, what there is is well, before I get to this this mess that I built, uh, let me show you. There are some menu changes. Uh, so first of all, you got your blocks. You got your decoration blocks, you've got your redstone, transportation, miscellaneous has moved down here because it was moved by the same toolbar, toolbars, which I'll get to in a second. Miscellaneous is down here, but it has co combines with, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, materials. So like all the dyes and all of this stuff are all mixed together in one tab. I don't know if this is going to stay because I feel like they could fit a tab right back in here. Um, but yeah, so this is where all the materials and uh, miscellaneous items are being kept now, and it's under one miscellaneous. Then you've got foodstuffs, which I think this may just be for fun or something, just for the snapshot. Uh, but yeah, they changed the title to foodstuffs. So yeah, well, let's just go with that. That that was a joke. Um, tools and. Combat and brewing, I believe, have all stayed the same. Now, save toolbars. What's save toolbars? Well, I'll show you. These are where you can save a toolbar with control and then whatever number of uh, toolbar it is. So you can up save to up to nine toolbars. So let's say I wanted to do my normal uh, routine. Uh, what's it called? Uh, like survival inventory I could go in and I could grab all of the things that I would normally have I have uh, torches where would those be uh, those in, oh those are in decorations aren't they yeah I have torches but yeah and then all I have to do is hit control 9 and then it saves it all so then I can get them away and I can go to save toolbars and scroll down and I can find them or I can just Hold shift and then hit nine, and I've got this whole uh, this whole setup back. Um, but next, as you can see, you got lots of blocks here. You got lots of blocks. These are terracotta. Now, the types of blocks they've added are terracotta, concrete, and concrete powder. And they've got pretty much one for every colored uh, die. And so I thought what this stuff could be used for, because I I heard about terracotta and I was like, okay. Terracotta, terracotta. What could what could terracotta be used for? And I was thinking, what if we made a new uh, structure in uh, in the game that was like in the mesa? Because I don't know why the mesa. I just thought maybe the mesa needs something, and also that's the only place I could think of. I mean, like this this structure could work in a uh, savanna or a jungle, but the mesa doesn't have anything, so I said mesa. Um, and it's an Aztec temple. So the Aztecs were this uh, ancient, ancient civilization uh, from down in South South uh, North America and, and parts of uh, South America. But yeah, they were basically this ancient like kind of civilization of Native Americans, and they they built huge temples. I mean, this is nowhere compared to the size it would have actually been. This is just like a little model. Um, and that con kind of like concept art or a concept uh, creation, but yeah, they built these kind of temples uh, to worship and hold their kings and queens in. And yeah, and I thought maybe you could come up and you go on the base and you'd find this thing coming uh, and hop on down and you find treasure, but then it's like mobs and everything coming against you. I just find zombie villagers because I thought that was the only thing that matched really. I don't know why. But uh, I thought like they could even add like terracotta warriors. And if you're wondering what terracotta is, terracotta is pretty much just a, um, um, it's like a ceramic, or no, yeah, it's like a ceramic kind of clay. 
Uh, it could be glazed or unglazed. And if you look up the terracotta warriors from China, I believe it is, those are all made out of terracotta, if you've heard of those. Um, and so yeah, this is the terracotta. Um, as you can see, we've got some on the, uh, the temple, but then, oops, oops, sorry. Uh, then you've got, uh, white terracotta, so let me find a nice place to show you guys this. White terracotta, magenta terracotta, light blue terracotta, lime terracotta, pink terracotta, gray terracotta, light gray terracotta, cyan glazed terracotta, purple terracotta, uh, you've also got, uh, blue terracotta, green terracotta, red terracotta, brown terracotta, black terracotta, yellow terracotta, and orange terracotta. So those are all of the terracottas. Um, you, you can build, like, I think it's cool. I think these will be used a lot in uh, adventure maps and cool builds. I don't know any of the recipes for the concrete, the powdered concrete, or the terracotta. I don't know if they're going to be naturally uh, found, like, underground, if you're going to have to craft them, or if they will be only, like, exclusive to one, uh structure like my little Aztec temple over here uh but yeah I'm not sure but we guess we'll have to see and then after that we've got concrete uh now so concrete is a new block that we've got we've got white concrete orange concrete uh we got magenta concrete light blue concrete yellow concrete lime concrete pink concrete gray concrete light gray concrete cyan concrete purple concrete uh, we got blue concrete, brown concrete, green concrete, red concrete, and black concrete. And then, uh, I don't know which is which leads to which. I don't know. I haven't tested with any of the crafting stuff or looked it up at all. But you got uh, you got concrete powder. So you got white concrete powder, powder, um, orange powder, magenta powder, light blue powder. You've got yellow powder, lime powder, pink powder, gray powder, light gray powder, cyan powder, purple powder, uh, blue powder, brown powder, and then you've also got uh, green powder, red powder, black powder. So this right here is all of the new blocks that have been added um, in this snapshot, just this one snapshot. Uh, once one point self comes around, they may add a whole new uh, sets of blocks, I don't know. But we'll have to see. Next is they uh, have changed the palette to uh, the uh, wall, and I think it was the wall, the and the banners. I believe it was. So these are all of the new uh, textures and uh, uh, palette colors for the wool. So nothing's really changed about them, Not, like the crafting recipes, the way you get them, nothing, just how they look. Uh, just to make them a bit more vibrant and colorful. And then next what we have are, I don't think I saved it at all, uh, but we've got uh, the banners. The banners have changed. Um, also, so basically, oops, they all look pretty much uh, different. Again, they're just lighter. No, no recipes have changed. Nothing's changed except for their uh, their palette, their color palette. So they've got, you know, see if you kind of look closely, it doesn't look too different right now. But that's just because they look natural right now. But if you like, uh, Jeb posted a picture. Um, on Twitter not too long ago, uh, hinting at the new palette change, and uh, he put a before and after picture um, on it, so that way you can see what it looks like before and after. And just to prove to you that not the, the new palette of wool doesn't change anything too dramatically, I've loaded up a copy of my Minecats world. Oh gosh, this is kind of laggy and as you can see it doesn't look too bad um uh, it, it looks a bit more bold so your things will be more bold as you can see my little uh snow golem statue over here on jack frost's house looks a bit more uh vibrant i guess you could say and then i know over here my chunks can load in and my game doesn't lag too much uh you'll find uh that the uh whatchamacallit the uh, statue over here, it hasn't changed too much either. The chickens, okay, the pig, the cow, nothing's really changed much. It just looks a bit more bold, vibrant, and I actually kind of like this, uh, this change. It, 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 like, some things may look traumatic. It depends on the style you build them. 
but overall it's not gonna change hardly at all and as you can see the sheep right here have even changed uh, what they look like with the wool on them so I think that's pretty nifty so yeah oh and one more thing I found out that your saved toolbars will uh, be saved throughout everything like every world that you have on Minecraft, of course, or not Minecraft, on Minecraft, of course not servers or anything like that, or realms that you don't own, but all of your uh, single player Minecraft worlds will stay the same. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode, or not the episode, this video, uh, on the 1.12 snatch snapshot, which is 17W06A. Uh, uh, go check it out. By the way, there was a new Minecraft launcher that came out, and it's pretty nifty. It helps you get through uh, the snapshots, the current updates, and the uh, and Forge versions of Minecraft uh, pretty, pretty uh, easily. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys all later. See you later, guys. Bye! Camden is meow.